Hello YouTube, this is the Knives of Alaska uh, Featherlight Defender and you see there the handle material carbon fiber. And here is the knife in the open position. There's a liner lock. The weight on this knife is only two ounces. Alright, so ultra light. You know, they're saying that this is more of a, a tactical model, but I, I would politely disagree. Uh, with such a light weight a uh, blade length of uh, 3.1 inches. Uh, I would consider this more everyday utility, uh, ultralight everyday carry, this cutting tool. That's what I would consider it. All right, here's your close up. I did ask them, is this pure carbon fiber or is this that, you know, laminate sticker bull crap, you know, where it's only one, you know, only the top layer. Uh, Knives of Alaska told me that this is pure carbon fiber, All right, so good to hear. Here it has an elliptical shaped opening hole there, All right, open pillar construction. All right, there is the blade centering, pretty good. And the opening for a small knife and a small opening hole, uh, it opens very well. You see the liner lock mechanism there. Jumping on the liner, you see the lock up there, it's about 50%. Easy to disengage. A little harder to open with the uh, left hand because there's no, there's no cutout there, All right? But can be done. And as you see, made in the USA. And notice how the, the blade, it, it drops down a little. I like that, it makes it uh, better for utility cutting. And you see the jimping right here, that is for using the, uh, the scalpel grip, if you're uh, opening a package or whatnot. And here is a close-up of the blade. You see it is a tanto tip with the, with the tip that the point dropping down right, and a full flat grind. It is D2 tool steel and it has a, a peened finish. Uh, peening means it is bombarded by ceramic media. In other words, it's bead blasted. And as I said, because it's so pointy, they're saying it's tactical. I, I think it's just better as a utility cutter. I mean, it would be very useful for opening, uh, opening packages, just little tasks. And, you know, at two ounces, uh, you know, I mean, you're not even going to feel, feel carrying this. All right, now, do you notice anything missing? Anything missing? No pocket clip. That's right. This is old school. It's meant for either to be carried in a belt pouch, like if you're a hunter, for example, outdoorsman, um, or just loose in your pocket. Yes, like like uh, like an old Swiss Army knife or lockback, right? Or even case knife. Yes. Back in my day, we didn't have pocket clips, son. All right, that was my old guy impression. Hope you liked it. All right, and there is the Featherlight Defender underneath the Featherlight Hunter, right, in uh, Olive Drab G10. And I have reviewed that previously. These are real nice little knives, you know. Uh, having had that other one for several months definitely influenced my decision to pick this one up when I saw that they had it in carbon fiber. And these are small, okay. This is, uh, you know, <laughs> Here, here's my Emerson Super Commander you know, next to it. Okay, so th these are, <laughs> these are extremely, extremely small. All right, but you know, very handy. All right, and here they are open, you know, the Tanto tip and the drop point tip. Uh, this carbon fiber model is also available in drop point, and I would have got that one, but at the time I just couldn't find any reliable store that had that model in stock. So I went ahead and got this one. And at some time in the future, yeah, I probably will pick up the uh, the bright orange G10 handle model just because, I don't know, you got these two, you got to get the third. I mean, it's, it's a, you know, it's a completion thing. All right, and just for fun, might as well show you my Knives of Alaska fixed blade. All right, this is a, it's a D2 blade as well. Nice stag handle. A beautiful knife, you know, hunt, it's a hunting knife or just a, just a camp knife, really, but, uh, yeah, I dig knives of Alaska. They, they make some good stuff. 
All right, so overall, what do I think of this baby? Well, you know, it's it's super light and handy. The price tag, $80. You know, it's one of those cases where you're paying for what the knife is not. You're paying for this not being heavy. You're paying for it not being bulky. And, you know, it's a hell of a thing to pay for something, to pay for negatives, to pay for features of it that would be negative if they existed. I mean, you're, you're, paying, <laughs> you're paying for nothing. So we're all pretty stupid. Now, I'm just kidding. Um, you know, like I've said before, I don't price knives by size, okay? Sometimes, in fact, when you're talking about everyday carry, a smaller, lighter is, is definitely better. So yes, I do recommend this as uh, an ultralight uh, everyday cutting tool. You know, whether you want to somehow try to put a pocket clip on it, I don't think, I don't think that's needed. It's so light. I, you know, you could carry this loose in a side pocket and you're not going to feel it. It's, it's not going to bounce around. All right. So yes, I do recommend it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for many more.